Hi crafters, Karen here from Karen's Crafting Company. And in today's video, well, I think you know, it's all about another sheet load of cards. Welcome to the March 2024 sheet load of cards designed and created by Call Me Crafty Al herself. Before I get into everything today, I want to remind you that we have a playlist in the description box and that's what you'll use to get to the collaborators videos so you can see their take on this month's sheet load. Let's talk about the sheet load of cards. For anyone who is brand new to sheet load or you haven't done it in a long time, let's go over the uh, instructions. So the great thing or one of the many great things about Crafty L's sheet load of cards is she creates a template and she brings that out on the first of the month and she will show her set of cards that she made using her template. On the second of the month, she will show you the process video on how she put the cards together. And also her collaboration team will share their take on that month's uh, sheet load. So again, the sheet load of cards, super easy to follow. The instructions are very straightforward. She breaks it down from all the paper, the supplies that you need. So for example, all the papers from pattern papers to card stocks. And she also tells you how many cards you'll yield per sheet load. And for this month, you get a full dozen. If you don't want to make the full dozen, you can use the uh, dimensions that you see here for one single layout. Another great feature is the alternatives that Alicia provides so that you can change the card up any way you see fit. On page two, we talk about the cutting guides and the measurements from the pattern paper all the way to the cardstock. And then you'll see that there's always an image of the card bases that Alicia recommends, but you can choose the type of card base you would like. Getting into the papers that I used for my uh, sheet load is this flower garden uh, paper pad uh, from, call me, uh, excuse me, from Cartabella. And it does come with a sticker sheet and it has all these pretty uh, uh, pattern papers. And I wanted to do something spring themed and this these papers definitely fit spring. It's hard to believe that spring is only three months away. So again, I, I did not use these stickers for my cards for this month. I'll save those for another project. So showing you my cards now, I knew that when I looked at the uh, pattern papers that I chose, with the black in there, I knew I wanted to have a, a black card base. So I did just that and I also made my sentiment uh, strip using black cardstock as well. And because of the black cardstock, the inside I layered with white cardstock for my message. I also put that gingham uh, washi tape and then any scraps I had left over, I either cut out fishtail banners or any type of other banner to use on the inside. Now for my sentiment, I did do some heat embossing and I brought in my uh, sentiments from Hero Arts and I wanted to do the thinking of you. I wanted something a little generic. And again, I used my uh, white uh, uh, embossing powder to help that stand out on those black strips. And those, these are my cards that I created. Here is the full set of 12 cards and I hope that it has inspired you to go ahead and give the March 2024 sheet load a try or any other sheet load for that matter. Remember, you can get a free copy if you are subscribed to Crafty Al's YouTube channel. Until my next video, friends, I hope your day is a crafty day. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again real soon. Take care.